So what happened? Well, out on a pretty easy bike ride, and like most of my accidents in the past, I was faffing. Came to a one and a half foot drop. To me it just surprised me, I stopped, and I was clipped in, of course, because that's I've always used SPDs. Went to move my foot out, I couldn't, and lost my balance. Followed to my left, and the ground that I fell on was lower than the bike, so I sort of twisted and fell. And then I heard a crack, and then I unclipped. And instantaneously I knew that feeling, that numb ache, that I'd done something bad. But I was in denial for the first five minutes, tried to stand on it, brain saying, no you won't, no you can't. Yes, I will. No, I can't. Yes, I will. Stand up. And, yeah. And then reconciled to the fact that I'd done something really bad to my ankle. Talked to my mate who was with me. He called our wives. Called them back. And then we had to proceed very carefully, still in a little bit of denial, to use the bike as a prop to walk 400 metres out of the woods onto farm track, which I was sat down, Sharon and Vida had turned up, negotiated with Mountain Rescue, also the ambulance service, and they had two points of entry, and we were discussing how they might um, enter the woods, or get up this track, and lo and behold, out of the blue, there was the ambulance. Um, the guy who was driving it, absolutely fantastic crew, hats off to them. They, he, he had been in the area before, so he knew the track, he'd ridden that track. And so he knew exactly where I was and where to go. And yep, just cut to the chase, um, got the knocks out, thought I might have to use that again, but they didn't see me in so much pain this time. So yeah, carted off in the ambulance, even my fat bike got a ride in the ambulance down to the road at least, whereupon I was taken to Inverness A&E and my wife had to call a taxi for herself and two bikes. It's this pedal's fault. Do I, don't I, do I, don't I? Are you going to swap out two platform pedals? Good question. And I haven't quite made my mind up on that. I have bought some platform pedals. I have bought them for two bikes. I've got them in the Black Friday deal, 50% off. Um, and they're on my Bucksaw, and they're on my Fat Bike Sonda. And so I am looking forward to using them, and I will be using them for the foreseeable future until I feel comfortable with my ankle. Um, now, whether I go back to clippings, I think I will, but it just depends on that twisting motion to clip out. Um, Hopefully that won't give me any kind of aggro, um, but I am a little bit concerned about that since that's the way it broke. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have platform pedals. So I've just had another morning session. <sighs> Try to walk properly. Yes, I am walking properly. There is no good time to break a bone. What are you missing at the moment? I'm just missing getting out on the bike. Um, like you said, there is no good time to break a bone, and it's always inconvenient. And especially more so at this time of the year where I had ideas for looking forward to the winter conditions, and it has arrived early in Scotland. We've had some super cold conditions, and I call it the winter summer because everything's so frozen that it actually causes dust again. And I've got my spiky tyres, and I always look forward to using those. But at the moment, they're sat over there, a little bit deflated, literally. Um, we're going up to Ballater next week, 
and was looking forward to that again because of the winter conditions and I'm probably going to have to just sit inside while my wife and friends go out on their bikes. My wife's got her spiky tyres ready and yeah, so I'm missing that. Um, I'm missing making the YouTube videos because I've been hobbling around and I have got some videos lined up. I had one literally lined up just before this vid just before I broke my ankle and I haven't been able to do it because it's been meaning to lift the bike up, undo bits and pieces and yeah, even with the boot on that makes life quite difficult and so instead of faffing around I thought I'd just cut to, to the chase and just leave it alone. So now this is my first video, it's like I said, it's five, five weeks coming up to six now and as you've seen I've got on the bike and I've just been to see the consultant he says you're making very good progress, very good progress but don't push it. It's like snakes and ladders he says, you can go up the ladders but don't go down the snakes and yeah my ankle does protest sometimes so I'm very aware of the fact that while I can now start to walk on it, um, it doesn't take much to tweak it and so I'm definitely going to be laying low for the next week or so and the doctor said 10 weeks and that's the middle of January 10 weeks then you can start jumping around on it um, so a little bit longer than I anticipated so just getting out really um, and doing the stuff, the winter stuff that I was looking forward to doing it's just amazing how fast you lose stability in something that's only been in, not in use for a few weeks are you worried the ankle break will impair you in any way? Yes, I am concerned about the ankle. Um, I've got some confidence in the fact that I had my other ankle broken 10 years ago and that was plated and it's totally recovered and it's like it never happened apart from the 10 centimeter scar. This time round, because of the nature of the break, while I could have had an operation to have a plate put in that would have involved other issues and made it more traumatic because having a 10 inch cut in the side of the leg is not the best thing you can do and that's what it would need it if I needed it plated. The bone hadn't moved if you look at that x-ray it was actually I was asked did you walk out on it and goes yes I did well the bone hasn't moved and they've seen that as a good sign. So I only had about a one millimeter crack in there. Um, so I had the choice, either leave it as it is and heal naturally, and just wear the boot, or have a plate fitted. And I chose for not having the plate fitted. Um, but yes, I am concerned that maybe my ankle will be a little bit different. Um, especially when I go snowboarding. I think when I go snowboarding, that will be the true test of whether anything's different because that really does put a strain on my ankles. Man. That is disgusting. Some people are saying that you're pushing the boundaries of recovery too quickly. Ah oh, yes, that argument. I do things that I think I'm comfortable with and that's what I did with my last ankle break. And I was up and about running up steps. I remember that being up in Scotland at the end of that term of fixing a broken ankle. And having had that experience and seeing the progress, I feel the progress with this ankle. It's still swollen at the moment. I have, the only thing I have real difficulty at the moment is my brain is telling me you can't walk downstairs. And there's a bit... This is still a bit swollen, so it's almost like a crease in the side of your ankle. I get more aggro from the rest of my foot than I actually do from the ankle itself, you know, the ankle bone. And But I want, I've got back on the bike, it does loosen it up a bit. I am walking around, people say, why aren't you walking in the cast? So yes, I do have to be careful. 
I am pushing boundaries, but I think that's within the abilities of my safety margin. Here is my fat bike, well, my new fat bike, and it hasn't been ridden much. That is probably the lightest bike I've ever owned. What was people's reactions to when you broke your ankle? Yes, that's an interesting question. Um, I was a little bit surprised that some of my relatives and some of my non-bike friends saying, you're getting a little bit old for this, almost insinuating that I shouldn't be out and about on my bike enjoying myself. Um, you know, there's racism, but I think that's ageism, just because I'm now approaching, I'm 56 now, and I don't see anything wrong with that. I perfectly, I think it's a good thing to be out and about jumping on bikes, falling off stuff. It's not a good thing to break your bones. Yes, that's a damn inconvenience. But I certainly won't be stopping going out and about. In fact, when this ankle is fixed, I'm going to make a concerted effort to do more things and yeah well, I'm doing enough things anyway but I'm just going to make more of a concerted effort because it's come clear to me in this in these few weeks that I don't know I just seem to feel like I've got limited time and I need to make the most of it and so when this ankle is fixed I'm definitely going to be up out and about more and trying to get new YouTube videos in there too but yes, I do object to being called too old, you should stop. Um, yeah, they can go and stuff themselves. Solution. Are you missing the bikes, the bike rides? Uh, yes, I am certainly missing the bike rides. Uh, at this stage, once this ankle is better and more confident in stepping on and off that bike, I will definitely be, even if it's just a gravel road, I don't really care. I just want to be out on the bike and putting in some pedal turns um, and then work up from there. Um, Has the brake changed how you think about stuff and what you want to do next? Yes, I am missing the bike. Um, and like I said, I've got spiky tyres for this time of the year, so that won't stop me. So. I am missing the bike, I'm also missing the fact that I've got a brand new fat bike and while that won't have spiky tyres, it's what been ridden about three or four times. So I've got a brand new bike doing absolutely nothing at the moment and I do miss the Buxor, that's still my go-to bike, even if I have to change it to flat pedals. No I won't, I'm going to keep it and persevere. So what are you going to be doing next? Hmm, the first thing I'm going to do... Well, if I could do it all at once, I would be ride my bike, get out on my split board up there, and be out on my bike, out on those spiky tyres, walking up the hill on split board. I don't know. All those things at once, depends on the conditions, where I am at. We've still got the pitch up in Abbey Moor, so um, that's been another pain point at this moment in time. Just got the, just started the period for that camp van site up in Abbey Moor, and then I go and break my legs, so we haven't been up in Abbey Moor. And like I said, we're going to Ballata, and love that place for all the trails it has. And yeah, the first thing I want to do, and then I'm going to make the videos. Yes, get back out and make the videos. In fact, I might, I, I can make them sooner, but it's a case of subject matter. And I do have a video lined up based on a taller I've got, and I can do that once I can start putting proper weight on this ankle and probably allowing it to twist and turn, which is going to probably have going to happen inevitably but I don't want to do that right now because even I can tell you really don't want to do that it's going to hurt why did you make this video I made this video for a few reasons and 
One, because I've been absent from my YouTube channel for what the f five, six weeks that I've since I've broken the leg. Um, so I thought I needed to make a video, I wanted to make a video, and I've been watching some Red Bull type interviews and they're very much like this style where you just sit in front of the camera and answer some questions. Um, so I've, ne I've never done that before. So I thought I'd see how that goes and work that out, work that style out. And as you might have seen from the first section of this um, particular YouTube video, I also wanted to try that with the 360 degree camera and see if I can make it, uh, what's the word? Not emotional, but capture the essence of the fact that someone, me, has broken their leg, has to take it easy, trying to get fit at the same time while not trying to push it too much, and to show people that I am getting up and about trying to do something about it. So, just because I wanted to make a video, I wanted to try a new style, I had an idea and yeah and I wanted to put a new video out there now whether I get any views out of this video that's another thing altogether YouTube is such a feckle um, place and to be honest probably won't get many views out of this video but it's kept me busy and I've enjoyed making the video so if you do like it and you have got this far then please do give it a thumbs up Hit that subscription button because there will be more videos coming your way and be sure to turn on notifications too. Keep well, keep safe, don't break anything and I'll catch up with you guys next time. So what do you think of space blankets? Space blankets, well I actually have here the one that I used and this was in Sharon's backpack in there for years apparently and uh, it's all wrapped up I'm trying to get it back into the same packet as a uh, another thing but basically I think they're fantastic and I've got to say having used one in anger um, I've, they do work they do work and so I'll be digging out the ones that I haven't been using and putting them back into my backpack um, they're absolutely enormous as well they always remind me of um, a space satellite uh, so obviously I've folded this up wrong. Get down on that. So yes, definitely be carrying one in the future called Russell.